Today we're getting an up close look at where this fire was burning and the impacts it could have had. You can see that here today firefighters are still trying to make sure that no hot spots flare back up. You can see where that fire was positioned and it's right under power lines that could have had impacts going from Olympia to Tacoma. This is just one example of how even a small fire in a rural area. It started down in that area there underneath the power lines can threaten people and property. Thank God for the responders here. They are absolutely amazing. Aircraft and agency partnerships are key to keep small fires from erupting into huge ones. The state's Department of Natural Resources purchased more aircraft over the past five years, giving the state faster access to remote spots and a direct line to fires that would be hard to reach from the ground. The aircraft are, are uh, absolute need for some of the rougher terrain, for the speed that they can get in, and, and, and with all the lakes we have in the area, they can continually do water drops until they go, get low on fuel. South Pierce Fire says the state's Department of Natural Resources already had crews on standby nearby, so when a fire sparked here, they were the first to arrive on scene. Together, South Pierce and DNR, Grand Fire and Rescue and the Pierce County Sheriff's Office had enough resources to hit the fire from both sides, keep it small and do evacuations. There are several houses in the area that we had to evacuate and each one of them had uh, just countless amounts of animals and with the resources we had, it would have been almost impossible. As a result, there were just a few acres of scorched earth, but this could have been far worse. Now, South Pierce County is actually up for a levy lid lift coming up in August. They're hoping that that will allow them to keep all of their agency's resources in place. Reporting from South Pierce County, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.